Hey there, if you follow us here at Five Market Realty, you know that we do uh, monthly real estate updates on our market here in the Athens area, primarily focusing on uh, home sales, home prices, and what we're seeing in the market. And then we also do some prediction contests this time of the year for the Georgia football games just to kind of have some fun and not talk real estate. So sorry, this time of year, we're not trying to overrun your inbox because you are getting more videos from us. But today we're actually going to talk about real estate. If you're interested in homes in the Athens area, we provide these videos for new listings. We also do market updates. So be sure to click subscribe and you'll be notified when we have something new to share with you. But today we're going to talk about a few things and point out some things we want to start watching in the market because for the most part, things are remaining the same. Number one, inflation is sticking around. It doesn't appear to be going anywhere anytime soon. And then where are the actual changes in our market right now? So that's what I want to discuss with you because so many things are just kind of staying the same. Now, if you follow us, you know that Every month, we look at four things. We look at the new listings, the days on market, the average sold price, and the total amount of home sales for Clark and Oconee County. Then we look back over the last couple of years and compare it to see where things are different. This is where the market updates for us are getting to be a little monotonous. And to you, for those of you, about 150 to 200 that watch, week, watch us each week. So right now, the new listings down 17, almost 20%. The days on market is up. When this is year to day, comparing the last three years, 40 days on market up from 26 last year and 30 in 2021. Average sold price, this is actually a good trend. Year to date, only up 8% this time over last year. Now, if you remember in 2020, 2021, and parts of 2022, we were seeing gains of 25% or 30% at times. So that equity gain, while great for homeowners, was really not sustainable. There's a narrative out there that prices are falling off. It's really not the case, and I'll talk about that later. Prices are still going up. You're just seeing reductions on Zillow for another reason. Total homes sold down 20%, 1,153, and then 40% behind, 39% behind 2021. That's really where the pain is in the market for a lot of people in this industry. There's just less transactions, and uh, that's what's also keeping the prices up because we don't really have a high supply of anything. Now, this is the month of September that we're going to look at again. Trends remain the same. I mean, for the last several months, I'm telling you, it's 30 to 40% behind, 30 to 40% behind, 28% behind. New listings, 104 38% behind. Days on market is actually up a pretty significant amount. That's now 46 days. So there's a reason for that too. I'd like to try to discuss it a little bit. And then the sales price went down about two when you compare September to September of last year. If you recall, we started to see that trend again last year. And I thought maybe, maybe it's signifying a change in the market. Well, because we track these things, now we know it's not. What happens in September, October, and November is generally we're going to see home sales of lower price properties. When we get into the new year, you're going to see the higher priced homes be more involved in the home sales. So that's what's going on there. Big deal here, 104 home sales in the month of September. That is down 24%. Last month, it was only 137 home sales. That's Clark and Oconee County combined. And remember, I'm not counting George MLS. I'm not counting for sale by owners. I'm only using the Athens MLS. So yeah, there might've been more home sales, but what we use here is the Athens MLS to track this. So that's what's going on. That's kind of, I've been saying this to you for several months. You're seeing the same, the numbers might be different, but the percentages are tracking the same. So let's see what we need to look for and what we need to consider to watch to see when the market makes some kind of shift. Here we are in the monthly inventory of homes for Clark and Oconee County. Now I pulled this a couple of days ago. It might be slightly different now, but roughly beginning of September and beginning of October, there's 252 homes available active. I don't mean active pending contingencies. I mean, actively, you can go make an offer. And if they sign it, you have a contract. So we saw that this went way down in February, March, April. We came back up sort of in the summer. But let's look back here last year, 245, 244, the same two months. So if you can see this line, we're kind of right on par with the same thing that happened last year. So as we watch this, does this mean that this is what we should expect and this is the norm? But if we see these numbers start to go up or down in any meaningful way, that's going to signify a change in the market. And then we hope to see them go up because if we get more listings, that might can shake something up. But right now, that's not what we're seeing. And it looks like it's tracking exactly the same as it did 12 months ago. Now, this is the total home sales. And as you can see, 131, 132, here's the bad news. We're actually down from that same time last year. And if we look here, you know, that's where we hope to be, 200. And we're trending back down. Another thing to watch, where do these home sales go? Are we going to trend. We're online with uh, October, but if we're less than that. We're going to see a declining trend worse than last year. We want to hopefully see that trick up, tick up a little bit, but we may not. Now, the months of inventory, I did this. We took a few months off. And I want to explain this to you. This is my absorption rate, not the one that they're going to calculate through the MLS 
not the one they're going to calculate on realtor.com because I'm running these numbers a little different than classic MLS. What's different here is if you run the number another way, they're going to count every under contract home that has a contingency. I'm only counting homes that are actively for sale, not homes that are pending contingencies. So what's going on is this is just Clark County. What I'm trying to figure out here, what the number is, how many homes do we have for sale versus how many homes sold in a given month? How much inventory do we have? So if it's 1.9, that means almost two months. 2.9 means almost three months. So here we are right here, as you can see in September, we've gone up from almost two, right at two months to a little over two months of inventory. The trend for May has been a slightly tick up in months of inventory. Again, only for Clark County. Four to six months is a balanced market. This is another thing we want to watch and see if something will change for us. Because look right here. This is a year ago. We're right there at the same numbers, 1.9. Right here, August, right below two months. We just saw a slight little tick up. Will we see a tick up again? Will we see it continue to rise like we did? And we're going to compare it to these months before. Because we're above September. Are we going to be above October? We're going to have to try to track those numbers and see what's signifying a change in the market. Now I want to talk about factors to understand and sort of help you understand what we're seeing in the market versus what you're hearing and things like that. We don't believe rates are going down anytime soon. I'm not going to get into all the economics of it, but the 10-year treasury is up. The government is going to have to pay more debt. They're going to have to pay the interest on some of these bonds. So, and there's an energy issue still. So, you know, the rates aren't likely to go down because inflation is going to stick around. So when you're sitting there thinking about, oh, I'm going to sit out the market, wait for it to go back to four and a half percent. I don't know that four and a half percent is going to happen anytime soon. Can't predict it. I don't know that 5% is going to happen anytime soon. There's another thing to consider. We might need to think that these rates can actually still go up again. That's something that people have been projecting that, well, we got into the first quarter, the second quarter, or this quarter, this is what's going to happen. And the reality is, is that no one really knows. But you also have to consider the fact that if you need a home, sitting around and waiting for something to happen might actually be costing you money in a couple of ways. Next, prices are not falling off. There's a narrative out there because you look on Zillow and you see that, you know, price reduction, price reduction. But what's really happening is a lot of homes were just overpriced. And when they come down to earth to the price that they finally sell at, when you compare that sales price to the price a year ago, they're up. Remember back earlier, about seven to 11 percent. So the home sales are still going up in our area. But we've said a lot of people that have kind of shot for the moon and had to come back down into orbit a little bit. So many price reductions, as I just covered, are above 2022. So note that. Think about the price a year ago. And if they came down, there's a whole couple of homes in the five points area that price reductions have come down. But when they finally sold, they're still well above the year, year and a half number. And then, folks, when inflation persists, people buy real estate. I'm not telling you to make a property investment that you shouldn't make. But this week, I had three separate people mention to me that they were thinking about their 401k and how it was being eaten up by inflation. We have three people right now actually using their 401k, one already purchased to buy real estate. And I've had three separate people mention to me, I'm thinking about diversifying because I'm really concerned about inflation. And historically, real estate is going to perform very well against inflation. This is our group, Info at 5M Realty. That's uh, finally going to get an updated picture because we're missing people in that one. And we're going to do it next week, I believe. But there's one more thing I want to share with you. I've done this before. and It was about a year ago. It was very similar. Do you remember when I said there were 104 home sales in Classic MLS in the month of September? Well, our little company right there was involved in, I think, over around 13 or 14 of them, being involved in almost 13 percent of all the transactions. And that's our company compared to 200, 200 other member firms. And really, I'm just proud of our group for doing that. This has been a difficult market. And I want to toot their horn because uh, they're doing a good job. And even though things are different, they're navigating through and helping the clients that need the help. You know, we once had somebody tell one of our agents that we're a small company, but we carry a big bat. And I really loved hearing that. It was a great compliment. And it's true. That group is really doing a good job and I'm proud of them. So if you need help, you need some advice or you need help landing a home, getting a home sold, info at 5 and Realty and our numbers below. Thanks for sticking with me for a little over nine minutes. Um, have a great October, one of my favorite months of the year. And of course, we're at Georgia's Playing Kentucky. We do have our prediction contest on our website and our YouTube channel. Have a great rest of your month.